Sound.com. Hey, what's up, y'all? It is B More, and today is December. What day is it? December 30th. And I told you that I was going to have you guys go along with me on my journey, um, my way to woe manhood for my premiere in Chicago. Um, and so whenever I do a show, I always, always, always come up with some type of fitness routine or try something new in fitness to go along with the show. And since I am doing um, my own one woman show, I've gotten back into the gym um, I specifically did not want to wait until 2020 to start because I feel like by then I'm already behind. Um, and if I'm already in the groove once 2020 hits, then I don't have to necessarily force myself to try to get into the groove. I'm already in it. Um, so I'm a little bit out of breath because I just finished doing my workout. Um, this is like my no this is my first one this week because today is monday um but i went to the gym last last week so i've been trying to be consistent um throughout the holidays going to the gym um i am preparing to go on my own fast starting january 1st um until my show in chicago um i think what's been really great about incorporating a new or starting back with my new fitness routine is that um, I do have uh, an accountability partner, um, my friend Alex, who has been going to the gym and checking in with me. So that's always great because regardless of how much strength you think you have or regardless of how strong you are, sometimes it's really just a struggle to get up and go to the gym, whether you're going in the morning, in the afternoon, after work, whatever it is. Um, and for me, I'll be very transparent with you. It's been different because I've always been pretty motivated to be active, um, to go to the gym, but I'll be honest, for the last few months, I just didn't have it in me. I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't motivated and that just wasn't like me. Um, I'm usually like the first ones out of my friends to be like, oh, let's go on a hike or ooh, let's go to a workout class, let's go to the gym. Um, and I just didn't have it in me the, the last few months. And so the first day coming back, it was really great to just do it. I mean, to just get up and do it, which like I said, for my friend Alex, she's been, and I, I don't know if I told her, I think I did, but if not, I'm good. she's going to see this and she'll know. Um, but she's really been kind of like helping me with getting back on track. Um, I think for me, just being an actress, being in the entertainment industry, you always want to make sure that you're, you're active and that you're able to, one, breathe when you're doing parts, which help working out really helps with that, with your breathing, whether you're acting or singing or doing a monologue. Um, but it helps with your skin. It helps for you to really just kind of hone in on and think about thoughts. And for me, I, I feel like a lot of ideas that come to me sometimes do come when I'm working out and I'm focused. Um, and it's about challenging yourself. And being an actress, you know, there's always images out there about body type. There's always images out there about, um, you know, what is that body type that the entertainment industry is honing in and on now. Um, and for me, that's necessarily hasn't been something that I've always looked at because I feel like what's for me is for me. But you can get very distracted when you don't necessarily see people who look like you on TV and on screen. Um, and for me... That's something that, you know, you could say that you never think about it, but, you know, it's always going to be in your mind and in your subconscious because every image around you, TV, social media, on your phone, emails, it's always being thrown at you. And so for me, it's not necessarily about getting to a specific body type, but it's about me being healthy, being well, being as great in the body that I am meant to be in. And also loving every part of my body. But with that understanding that you can always make improvements, but that does not take away from the love that you have for yourself. And that's something that working out can't give you. You have to have that inside of you. You have to understand and know that you're beautiful and that you're great regardless of what your body type looks like. Let that be your driving force um, that's inside of you. You can't try to be like someone else because God didn't make you that way. Um, 
And then with the uh, with the fitness, just staying consistent with it, you know, creating a plan. Um, for me, I've created uh, the, the reminders in my phone, but also putting it in my plan to remember like, okay, this is workout day. Knowing like, all right, if I'm going to work out once or twice a day, putting in those times and making sure that when you hit the gym, when you're there, you're fully there. You're fully present. Um, moving on to the nutrition, I always, I feel like I'm a pretty clean eater. Um, for the most part, I cook mostly all of my food. Um, I don't necessarily eat out as often, but of course, in the beginning of the year, everyone is on like a fitness tip. Everyone's on a diet tip. Everyone's on the Daniel Fast. If you know, you do the Daniel Fast. Um, for me, I decided that I was going to fast from January 1st until my last show, which is um, February 23rd. Um, so this may be one of the longest fasts I've ever done consistently. Before I moved to LA, I did a fast, um, but I did it like once or twice a one or two days out of the week. This one is going to be consistent seven days a week. Um, and so I've decided to take out dairy. I've decided to take out meat. Um, no alcohol. <laughs> so that, that starts on January 1st. So for the new year, I'm gonna have a, you know, a little glass of wine that night before or whatever. Um, cause I love wine. Um, and then being cognizant of like no sugar is not adding salt. Um, and so for me, that was, this is not only a spiritual journey, but it's also a wellness journey because although I am taking out things that I would normally have, I also know that I have to make sure that I'm still getting my vitamin D. I have to make sure I'm still getting the nutrition that I need. Um, as always, if there's someone who is watching this, getting ready to go into a show, getting ready to do their own one woman show or one person show or solo show, check with your doctor. Make sure that you know, you can do this because you don't want to try to put more on yourself than a professional has told you. Um, so, you know, take that however you will. I have been to the doctor. Um, I've actually been twice this month. So um, I'm pretty good. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty healthy, which is amazing. Great. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys. Um, so, like I said, just give you kind of tidbits of how I prepare for my shows, um, how I'm preparing for this one woman show, which I think artistically and creatively has been maybe one of the greatest challenges that I've ever put on myself um, and that I'm ever doing because I'm creating, I created it myself, I'm starting in it and I'm producing it. So this definitely is a journey that is going to take not only mental strength, but physical strength. It's going to take spiritual strength. And for me, Wellness, fitness, and nutrition goes hand in hand with that. So I hope you guys got something out of it. If you have any questions, any comments that you have about my journey, like what are some of the things that I do when I work out, comment, leave them below. I truly, truly love reading you guys' comments. I love reading you guys' questions. Um, by far, I'm not a professional um, in terms of a professional fitness instructor or anything, but I have gotten things that have worked for me in my workout journey, which I don't mind sharing. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Be More saying, earn your sleep. Hustle more, live more, love more. This is Be More signing out saying, I got to get on with the rest of my day. So, peace. Bensound.com.